Now question number three, which of the following is not a metabolic syndrome? Option A, in question paper, it was given microalbuminemia, but I think it will be microalbuminuria. Option B, increased high density lipoproteins. Option C, hypertension. And option D, obesity. Now let's see what metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance syndrome is. Type 2 diabetes and its pre-diabetes antecedents belong to a cluster of conditions caused by resistance to insulin action. Thus, people with type 2 diabetes often have associated disorders including hypertension that is increased blood pressure, dyslipidemia which is characterized by elevated levels of small dense low density lipoprotein cholesterol that is LDL and triglycerides and a low level remember low level of HDL cholesterol but high level of LDL cholesterol and there will be non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases and in case of women PCOS is more common that is polycystic ovarian syndrome now this cluster has been termed the insulin resistance syndrome or metabolic syndrome and is much more common in individuals who are obese. So the answer to the question is option B increased high density lipoproteins because in this case the high density lipoproteins will be decreased and increased low density lipoproteins right. So you can check the reference from Davidson's medicine book 23rd edition page number 730.